Eric's. You know, Erica's idea of love is probably a little different than normal people's. What do you mean by that? Well, she's a celebrity, and celebrities are always falling in and out of love. Mostly, I think they're just in love with themselves. Well, what's your take on it? Have you ever been in love? Well, I told you about Laura. Oh, uh, Brooke English's daughter? I thought I was in love with her for a while, but nothing ever really came of it, so... Oh. So, so that's it? Well, and then there was a the girl at school last year. UCLA? Yeah. Oh. But that wasn't really love either, so... Mm. I guess I've never really gone that far. Mm. Um, so, uh, here you go. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, you could label those tapes over there with the names and dates of the interview. How I know which is which? I penciled the info on the side of it. Okay. How about you? Ever been in love? Nah, just, just crushes mainly. I never really understood the difference. Oh. <laughs> crushes are more one-sided. I remember this guy named Wally Whipple. Whipple? Mm -hmm. He was 11 years old in my Sunday school class. He had these big Dumbo ears, but a killer smile. Well, so what happened? He liked Meredith Boggs. Boggs. Oh, and then there was this guy, Witherspoon Baines. Witherspoon? Yes, his dad owned the Pigeon Hollow Bank, and he was a teller there, so I asked my mom to go and make a deposit every single day just so I could talk to him. Was it reciprocated? Uh, nah, not really. He turned out to be gay. And then there was my Matt Damon face. I was so excited when he broke up with Minnie Driver, but he never did call. <laughs> You're nuts. I know. But as far as, like, the love, like, the love my parents had, Nah. You told me they, uh, they started a conversation 29 years ago and are still having it today, right? 30, but who's counting? Guess not everyone can have that. I don't know. I think it'll happen someday. But this is my first time out of West Virginia. There's so much I want to do. I want to finish school. There's a lot I'm dying to see. Come in. Um, it Excuse me, I'm looking for, uh, Scott Chandler. What are you doing here? It is so good to see you. Mm. I thought you were spending the summer in Europe. I was, until I got a call from my grandmother. Huh. You look great. But you know I always like you with longer hair. So what does your grandmother have to do with you coming to Pine Valley? She lives here, remember? She heard WRCW was looking for summer interns, and since she knew I was looking for a way to get my foot in the door at a TV station, she gave me a heads up. As soon as the movie wrapped, to cut the next plane. What movie? I was an extra in that new indie film, you know, the one that shot in Venice? The Dernheim? Uh-huh. Parker got it for me. Parker Posey? You know Parker Posey? She's a friend, and you are? Uh, Becca Tyree, Greenlee Smythe. Nice to meet you. You too. Greenlee, huh? It was my mother's maiden name. How'd you guys know each other? Uh, UCLA. Uh, excuse me. So, so you're interning here too? Yeah. No, not really. I'm just working with Scott. Really? Mm -hmm. So what? We're making a video together. Mm -hmm. Um, so UCLA, huh? I'm a film major. Oh wow. And you and Scott knew each other? <laughs> yes. So your friend here, uh, Becky? Becca. She said you guys were making a little video? Yeah, my application to film school. Where are you applying? NYU. You're kidding. No. I'm thinking of applying there for next year. Burkhardt says I'm a shoe in to use this archaic palaver. <laughs> well, Burkhardt would say anything to score points with you. You always did love your smile. <laughs> Edmund, tell me something. What? Come on, come on. Just a peek? Not until it's finished. I showed you my ISP before it was done. Well, you asked me to critique it. Oh. And you don't need a critic? I have Becca. Has she studied filmmaking, too? No, but she has a wonderful eye. And I've actually made a video or two. But you know how you could help? How? Find a way to convince Erica King to do an interview for us. Piece of cake. My grandfather's on the enchantment board of directors, plus he's known Eric all her life. He was her stepfather's roommate at Princeton. That could work. 
And if it doesn't, I know a ton of other slubs in the Hamptons. Kim and Alec, Christy, just make a phone call. Great. Well, you know, I'm due back at the Glamorama. Oh. Um, you guys have fun catching up. <laughs> we will. I guess I'll see you after my shift at Tad and Dixie's. Okay. Okay. I'll see you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay, I think I've got the editing bay figured out. It's just like the one we had at school. Yeah, they're pretty much all digital now. Mm. So you want to grab some lunch? You can show me some of the Pine Valley hot spots. Well, it's not Venice, you know. Well, there's still, there must be a couple of trendy places. Trendy, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, there's the SOS for, like, Latin food or, uh, mm. McKay's for a good burger. Latin sounds perfect. I'll drive. Wait till you see the hot car grandmother leaves for me, a brand new red convertible. <laughs> I can't. I gotta meet Beck. I'll see you though, okay?